Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. It's me again. I hope everybody is doing okay. This video is 10 foods to think about and to store in case there is less meat or no meat. So uh, you might be thinking, why do you worry about this meat thing? Well, if you're used to meat and you don't have meat, it's gonna be so bad. All right, so I mentioned to you that um, I went to the food pantry and last week they gave us meat, milk, but this week there wasn't any. So I went to grocery outlet and I got this milk for $4.50. So last week I had um, I had a liter of 1% milk, but this is whole milk, but it's ultra pasteurized. So for uh, cheese making, that's not as good, but it'll be fine. And so that is more than enough. If I drink two glasses, uh, two cups a day, this is uh, for one cup, eight servings. So uh, sometimes I, I don't make it, but this is two cups of, of milk. I brought it to a boil, and now I want to make some cottage cheese. Uh-oh. And this time I'm gonna use lemon because I just so happen to have some. And then I am going to use the peel and make some candied lemon peels. Oh, uh, those are very tasty. Now, in some of the recipes, they, um, I took the seeds out. They don't boil when they start to curdle the milk, but in some they do. And I think that it's okay to uh, have it boiling. So you just stir it good. So, okay, here is what we have going so far. So I will just uh, cover this for a few minutes and let it curdle. It doesn't take long. All right, so uh, the first thing is, if you go to a pantry, if, they're, if it's a pantry that doesn't um, give you much meat, they usually give you milk. And then also whole grain bread. All of my life, and you guys have seen me, I usually buy the world's cheapest bread. But that is because I'm eating very large portions of meat. So I got two loaves of this uh, good wheat bread. And so what I want to mention to you is what my grandfather, Rhoda, the Rhoda, my grandmother, baked the bread. And her husband, Charles, ate the bread <laughs> every single night before bed. And uh, there may have been some religious component to it, but... You know, they would tear the bread. This is the pioneers. Down through the generations. Okay. And then uh, I just want to pour milk on this bread. And uh, he would eat a pretty big bowl. Uh, they did not eat between meals. It was called piecing. No piecing. That is undisciplined. So just pour. Uh, you know, a lot of the Mormons had access to dairy so if you provide um you know they would trade amongst themselves haircuts for food one of my uncles was a barber haircuts for a pork and, and then uh some good sugar i just pour everything in this and then you know okay it's time for bed yeah, but I'm pretty much of an insomniac. All right. This bread is awesome. On my mom's side, they would heat the bread, heat the milk and put butter in on it. 
So, bread and milk. Okay, if you have milk, you're going to have um, you're going to have butter because you're going to get my butter recipe. So you saw how I'm making the cottage cheese. Four and one half cups milk. I usually do half a batch. One teaspoon salt. I usually don't add salt, but uh, I usually add salt, but it's not necessary. Boil it like this. Then add two tablespoons of vinegar, or if you have lemon, that is awesome. And then curdle it and then um, strain it and save your whey. So a good thing to do is to drink your whey, just like milk, or to make bread. But you know, since I have this really good bread, and so maybe you might be thinking, I don't wanna go to a food pantry. You know, I've, I've never had to accept charity. Well, look at your income and say to yourself, what would I tell somebody else who had my income? Well, if I met somebody who had my income, I'd go, go to the food pantry. All right, then add 100 grams of melted butter. So that would be a cube. At the most, even if I was to make a whole batch, I'd use a half a cube. And when I make a half a batch, I use uh, two tablespoons. And then two spoons of sour cream. So you can use this sour cream uh, as as the sour cream so let me give you the recipe sour cream figures in big so get this recipe but if you it's, it's you can use this just like uh, butter I want to mention something to you if I can easily find it okay I mentioned to you guys I don't waste anything that's a good way so if you have some little pieces i have some you know sour cream some butter anything i have and i put it in this little container so today i bought two of these containers at dollar tree with a lid and then i am going to put my um cottage cheese in there so you have bread and butter you have uh cottage cheese All right, now, I want to talk to you about the Oslo diet. It was around the 1940s after World War II in Nor Norway. A Norwegian doctor came up with a lunch because the Norwegian children were malnourished. Always God raises up some people. Okay, so now I just want to... Uh, I want to um, just capture my way and separate my curds. So uh, this turned out really good. Okay, so it was wheat, bread, like this. Uh, also, I think I saw this, um, this type bread at a grocery outlet, very inexpensive, like $1.79, but I'm not sure. I'll check into that. So wheat, bread, and butter, salad, three small vegetables, a bottle of milk, which was probably about eight ounces, and a piece of fruit. So it was a small portion of fruit and a small portion of, of so it was bread and butter. Also, uh, there was cheese, but for some reason I didn't write the cheese. Okay, so now my cottage cheese. Now, if you get used to eating good homemade cottage cheese, you really, really won't want to uh, buy it. So you don't have to press every last bit of moisture out of it. So I will put this in in my bowl and cool it and then i will drink my whey also if you make soy tofu just like this but use rice wine vinegar the um or lemon 
This is why I'm determined to grow soy, in spite of the fact that the birds, the squirrels, and the gophers really love my soy. So here is what I have sprouted for the second time. So you harvest the soy and you dry the seeds. I would dry them in a window seal. And uh, so um, unless here's the, they're still sprouting. So uh, I have in total 11 plants. Then I have, so you can make tofu, which if you are having to go on a, a vegetarian diet, you're going to have soy. It's going to be so much better. So let's see. I just put these in if anything's sprouting. Yep, sure enough. Look at that. In three days. And you just cover it with the baggie and keep your paper. See how this one's sprouting and just, you have to be careful not to knock the roots off. So uh, if you're saying to yourself, Rhoda, I don't want to grow a balcony garden, just get into the habit. If something happens, like what? Like the day of destruction, God forbid. There are people in the world facing the day of destruction. Okay, let's see how it tastes. I didn't put salt in it. This is a perfect portion. And if you have this packed in its own juice, you have juice and fruit. This is the way you want to go. Even if it's packed in, uh, even if it's packed in uh, pear juice, it's still juice. So we're still on bread and butter. So the Oslo diet was bread, butter, and it was a chunk of cheese. This is good. Good thing my grandfather can't see what I do in the middle of the night. So now concentrating on healthy grains like oatmeal or fruit and or wheat and flour so bread so okay milk and bread number three eggs so i mean millions of americans eat toast with eggs uh i made a huge um ice cube and i have some uh walmart diet coke caffeine free Okay, so eggs are good for all kinds of things like boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, uh, macaroni salad. I put it in macaroni salad and potato salad, cheese, any kind of cheese. So uh, last night I used cheese uh, in my beans and I have a little bit left and I have lots of beans left. Uh, they gave us... I want to mention something I did at the food pantry. So these, I had one cup of these beans and you know, I just want to keep eating them till they were down. So in some, some things that we were given choices of, there was eggs. I already had eggs left from last week. In the section that had these, uh, you could take one. So I, I do this all the time. I considered all the alternatives and I took the beans, the $9 beans, and I took the $9 uh, chicken breast and I took the I what I thought was my best option for the healthy green bread. But when you go to the store, make sure you get the fullest containers. This is why I don't like um, delivery. Uh, my neighbors had some kind of uh, juice delivered and uh, it was this far from the top. So, uh, you know, you're inspecting to make sure you get the best deal. So milk, bread, eggs, cheese, nuts. Nuts are very, very important. P I go for peanuts and they have them at Dollar Tree so I can make peanut butter and walnuts because I eat walnuts in my oatmeal every morning. 
And when I added these healthy grains, a couple of little slices with my homemade butter, that's why I'm not cooking. I'm absolutely stuffed. Which is good if you're kind of broke because you don't want to go hungry. And then a uh, fish. So milk, bread, eggs, cheese, nuts, and fish. Why? Because for a complete amino acid diet, you need nuts and fish. Yes, I took organic chemistry and I was a moron, but that is not the point. I still learned what I needed to learn and that was one thing. And I take vitamins. If you're older, if you can assimilate them, you can take two a day. Okay, what kind of fish? Tuna, salmon, sardines, oysters, and clams. Okay, these small fishes are less prey to mercury, but I only eat them about once or twice maximum a week because, you know, but what is good is if you buy these packages, you can just slip these in your bread and then you can have a little sandwich. Or if you have something like this, you can make yourself a tasty tuna casserole. And then the other one I like is uh, this, and it comes with the cheese. So if you have mushrooms, that is awesome. And so, uh, okay, uh, let's see now. Okay, tuna, salmon, sardines, oysters. With oysters and clams, I put them in uh, potato soup. If you have a can of potato soup and you add a can of must, a can of oysters, or a can of clams, and then maybe a little milk to thin it out, you're gonna have a nice, um, you're gonna have a nice stew. Okay, back to the cheese. Grits and cheese. I get the little package enchiladas with cheese and olives spaghetti with mushrooms cheese mushrooms and cheese grilled cheese quesadilla cheese pizza breakfast sandwich with egg and cheese and then cheese cake you can substitute equal amounts of sour cream for cream cheese so you just make a big batch of cream cheese enough to make three cups and then you need a uh, two eight ounce uh, two eight ounce uh, packages of cream cheese, one cup sugar, two eggs, one cup sour cream, and two tablespoons vanilla. So after you always have cheese and milk, then if you want a cheesecake, you bake a 325 for 60 to 70 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. I might make one of those this week. Milk, bread, eggs, cheese, nuts, fish, rice and beans and then i put slash slash peas because in the vegetarian way it's rice and peas a lot of things i got at the food pantry last week and these were uh tasty and i was trying to find this week is this it uh oh no that's not it it's making a big mess anyway i got some vegetarian sausages so when I was at Grocery Outlet, I was looking for uh, sausages. Anything, vegetarian, they mark them way down. There wasn't any. So, okay, uh, with rice, you can make a stir fry. So all you have to know for a stir fry, season it with salt, pepper, and sugar, and then you need soy sauce. I usually use bacon, ham, uh, sausage, um, it, chicken, any kind of meat left over or canned. And then I use a little oil and I scramble an egg and I add some uh, cooked rice and some vegetables and I stir it around to brown it, salt, pepper, and sugar, and soy sauce. Rice milk, just boil your rice until the water is milky, then remove the milky water and reboil the rice until it's basically gone and you have rice milk. A rice pudding, red beans and rice, sticky rice. Okay, you just cook your rice down until there's no water. And then you add coconut and sugar and mangoes, any kind dry, fresh, or um, 
canned and then you can have that with fish and don't ask me why it's a very good combination okay uh, and if you have uh, you have coconut then you always have coconut milk okay and then think about rice with meat and vegetables now if you want to you can add tomato sauce and stuff a bell pepper or a zucchini with that all right now so now if you have milk you're going to have butter yogurt cottage cheese cream cheese you're going to have gravy and macaroni and cheese and then if you have beans like those delicious beans you're not going to be buying uh beans bean and cheese burritos you're going to make them bean and cheese burritos you can use um ham bacon or olive oil uh, hummus so if you have beans you're gonna have food potatoes potato soup hash uh, stuffed roasted mash salad fries hash browns and stew okay so I have I don't know if I'm gonna eat this because I'm not hungry I have two things I have this from Dollar Tree and I have chorizo so if you make a hash with eggs you cook your you have to be careful cooking chorizo you fry your chorizo in a little oil then you add cooked potatoes like you save your potatoes from the night before baked and you slice them and eggs it's going to come back out better okay and then i wanted to mention i bought uh two uh these they have these small salads now and some cold slaw so i'm going to have a small vegetable like the oslo diet i would have my vegetables and i would have my cheese and then if i wanted to i could make french fries and last night i showed you i bought some chipotle sausage if you cook your um yams and you put chipotle and lime it's very delicious okay now okay soy so i showed you i'm trying to grow uh and so there's tofu and for the tofu you need rice wine vinegar but if you don't have any just use regular uh and textured soy you buy it in a bag and it's just like uh it looks like dog food and you just uh, rehydrate it in beef or chicken stock and you can use it just like hamburger avocados you can spread them you can make guacamole you can put them in black beans with salsa okay then i want to talk to you about grape juice so you can just buy your nice sweet grapes and you can either blend them or you can cook them and retrieve the juice that way anything else I think that's it for tonight. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.